So we know that we have to go ahead and apply the product. So you can say that you know, this would be f of x, and that's g of x, right? So therefore, to apply the um, product rule, y prime, we're definitely going to be dealing with uh, d over dx of 5x squared times g of x. And then we're going to add that to the um, d over dx of our g of x, which is secant of 3x. And then that's going to be times our f of x, which is 5x squared. Okay. Now, obviously, to go ahead and take the uh, derivative of 5x squared, that's not a problem. 10x, and then we have that times secant of 3x. However, if you look at this to take the derivative of secant, we have a little bit of an issue, right? Because now you're taking the derivative of secant of 3x, that's going to have to reply the chain rule, right? Because we have a 3x inside of there. So now we have to go ahead and apply the um, chain rule, and I'll just use uh, g and h of x. I'll just say g of x is equal to secant of x, and h of x is equal to 3x. So the derivative of g of x is going to be cosine secant tangent, secant of x, tan of x, and h prime of x is equal to 3. So therefore, we'll take plus, um, let's see, that would be secant 3x times tangent of 3x. And then that's going to be all times h prime, or g h prime, which is going to be of 3. And then that's going to be times 5x squared. Does everybody see how I had to apply the chain rule back inside from there? Yes? All right, and then we just kind of see if there's anything else we could multiply those. So I can just have tan x secant of 3x plus I can do 15x squared secant of 3x times tangent of 3x.